Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines, and yes folks, we are back here in Burgerville. So, last episode, which by the way, if you didn't catch it and you want to watch it before this episode, it's in the top right corner, uh, but if you want a quick rundown of what happened, uh, basically we have expanded our residential zones back uh, till about right in this section, uh, but the big change of what's happened, if you watch one of the earlier episodes, we had our commercial district oddly squished in between the industrial zone and the residential zone. So what we've done, we've completely removed it, moved it over here, it's now called Cooper Park, and eventually I think this is going to turn into a downtown district. I think it's going to run all the way up the side here, uh, because this is in a perfect spot when it comes to highway coverage all around the city. Uh, so we did that, and we also connected the highway here. This is something we didn't actually have. Uh, there was just this big blank gap here. Uh, so we've connected the highways here. We still need to connect the third highway down here, which I'm not really sure how this one's going to tie in and if it's necessary yet. So we've gotten that done. Uh, what we want to do here today, and I think we're going to build on to downtown. We might actually start our high-density downtown area. Uh, I've already got a little bit of infrastructure in as far as I've got the bus depot in. Uh, we might need to do a subway. I'd really like to do like a tram system, which I've actually got a plan. I'm going to leave a gap here on this right side of town because I need to run the industrial train. A uh, little cargo train is going to run by it, and I think the tram line would run beside it. So we're going to leave this little gap open right here by Pooh Lake. So let's go ahead and take care of some industrial demand real quick because they have been howling for that. So I love this wind farm. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, Can we buy this land right here? Let's go ahead and purchase this land real quick. There we go. Uh, I love this wind farm, and eventually we'll probably have an episode where it's like we're going green, and we're going to move everything over and try to convert a lot of the industrial areas over. Uh, but for the time being, just to make money, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go just straight up. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of polluting. Not too much. I really am liking the whole fact that we're getting this away uh, from the uh, residential zones over there. So... Uh, that feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Cutting cutting that line, does that do anything? Actually, no, it does not. This line is pretty well pointless right now. I need to get rid of this little electrical line here. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll build some roads here. All right, so we got those roads built there. Let's go ahead and flag these for industrial right there. That should be popping up pretty rapidly. Now, let's go ahead and move over to downtown here. I want to go ahead, I think we're going to actually put in some high density commercial in here. Uh, we're not quite ready for offices yet. I really need to get a college installed, which we're probably going to put it right around this area in here, uh, in the residential zone, or maybe right here. Well, maybe we'll make like a dedicated little college block. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. We need bigger roads here. If we're planning on doing a high density downtown district, probably go with the four lane road here. Now, do I want to just convert this outer ring into four lanes? I might do that. I might be able to do that there, or we might just start like a... Uh, actually, I kind of like the uh, ones with the median on it, the four lane here. Maybe we'll start that. I don't know if that's quite centered. I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm probably going to break off into like a, like a central park type area. Does this look odd to start that? No, it doesn't actually. I kind of like that. Uh, but I feel like we're going to need bigger streets for the uh, the city itself, so we'll go with that. Uh, we might go with the basic road with the turning lanes for all the side streets. Or, heck, we could probably even still keep up with the four lanes. Uh, I'm not really sure here. This is going to be a little tough to decide. I want to have the infrastructure there. Uh, normally how I do it, I put the big roads on the outside like that. And then all these side streets wind up, uh, most of them are going to be like one ways. That way it just makes it a little bit easier for me to for me to manage like the traffic and where a lot of the uh, the intersections are. And I think this is going to work here. Uh, so we're going to do that. We'll go ahead and do a couple cross streets here. Uh, some one ways. I keep these relatively small because I don't, I don't feel like they need to be very big at all. So we put one there. Uh, actually, this is going to line up, isn't it? Oh, it does. Sweet. Okay, it looks good. All right, so we've got some little blocks here. I'm going to do a Central Park style area right here. So we'll put like a big park area. We'll probably break off and do two of these uh, four lanes with the trees in it just to try to make it look a bit different. 
Uh, but first, I, I just want to test and see if the demand is even there. So we're going to go high density all through here. Uh, our water, ooh, that's not quite straight. Let's try to straighten these out. Make sure they'll cover what we're building here. That wasn't a very good job of straightening it out. I think the only straight pipe is the outside one there. <laughs> okay, so they're going to start building that, and it, actually it is popping up relatively fast, so that's good to see. So we'll start that. Uh, we do have transportation here. We probably need to add a police station for the downtown district. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got a little fire station over here. Kind of looks cool. It's kind of under the bridge here. I like the way that looks. So I've got that. I do have a bus station here. So they should be good for transportation. Uh, like I said, I do want to eventually get the uh, a tram going. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. So we're going to let them start to pop up. I kind of want to do some high density residential. But I think that's going to be a section in town. Maybe we'll, it'll be like in the uh, south part. I guess we'll call this the south part of town. So it's be south, north part is up here. Uh, but eventually, I'm going to want to tear away some of this industrial. To me, it's still even too close to our uh, our sections over here. Are we having a crime problem here in the city? Or actually in the residential area? Oh, it seems like there's quite a few criminals. Uh, where do we have our police stations located? we got one there, one up here. I don't think that would be an issue. Maybe we need to just raise the budget up just a little bit on police. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. See if we can get a little bit more coverage here. There we go. All right, so we've got that going for us. Uh, let's go ahead. We need to probably still work on some neighborhoods. I uh, know I've talked about doing this down here, which I should probably commit to doing that, but I'm going to have to delete some roads. Uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and install some neighborhoods over here, and then we'll go over and work on that other side. Uh, what streets? We've been using some of the streets with trees, which I'm going to go ahead and continue that trend, and I'm going to upgrade this street along the uh, beach here with the trees because I think it'll look nice. Uh, so let's go ahead... Is this possible to do? Uh, this is going to look a little weird. But I like this road, how we have it kind of flowing with the... Uh, which I don't like the angle on that at all. I like this road, how it kind of flows with the beach here. So we're going to continue that. Uh, but then we'll section off uh, some streets and neighborhoods through here. So it's so like one here. We'll come down. It's kind of getting hard to see here with all these trees. <laughs> We're cutting down the forest. I'm pretty sure some people are going to be angry about that. There we go. All right, so we've got that. Do we have water run out here? All right, we're going to run some water out here. Uh, let's go here, here, and here. Okay, that looks good. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and install some more low density here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give them this little section here. So that should help with the residential demand. Uh, let's check our electricity. We're doing okay on that right now. Water is also kind of in that same boat. Uh, we have two water pumps. We might be installing a third one out here. Guess we can go ahead and take care of that real quick. Pump some more of that seawater. I think I have the water budget. I probably could have played with the budget a little bit. Let me check here. Yeah, we could have played with that a little bit, but I guess we just future-proofed ourselves. It's the electricity I'm a little afraid of. Is all the fact that we have maxed out the budget, plus I have three plants. Technically, I think I have five plants running right now. We've got the three coals, uh, two incinerator plants, which I, I don't think they uh, produce that much electricity, if any at all. I believe they do. I've got those running. Actually, I only have one of those. Oh. Well, maybe that's where we need to go. I'm pretty sure yeah, our garbage status isn't that great. And what? We've got two recycling centers, and oh, there's another little upgrade here, so... We're now a small city. There's the monorail. Okay, so we've got that. And there's the cargo train station I was looking for. Okay, so this is good. Monorail stations. You know, I have never played with the monorail station at all in City Skyline. So this might be a little bit of a new experience for me. Might need some suggestions on that. But anyways, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and worry about our trash problems here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in one of these advanced plants. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it over here. Uh, let's stick about the other ones. Now, what I want to do, uh, I want to really, I'd like to empty this real quick. I want to get rid of this landfill, so we're going to start emptying that out and get that taken care of. They should be taking that directly over to the plant there. At least I think they will be. Uh, I bumped up our electricity a little bit. Uh, we could really start to add a little bit more to our wind farm. We'll go ahead and wait on that for just a moment. Uh, but yeah. All right, so there goes our uh, high-density, res not residential, high-density commercial areas, which are coming in quite nice. 
Uh, we need to... Are these neighborhoods filled up yet? No, they haven't filled up yet. We need to worry about that college. Uh, can we take out the next loan? It's not a thing yet, but I can take out this one over here. So we're going to go and take out this loan here. And how much does that college cost us? Uh, that college is going to be 75000 So we've got a little ways to go there, but... Uh, we'll eventually get around to it. Let's see, the elementary school, we're kind of lacking there. The high school is right on edge. I'm going to boost, I believe I need to boost the uh, education budget real quick. So, let's boost that. Let's max that out real quick. Try to get as many students into school as possible. And then we'll save up some money here and uh, try to get that college. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of residential work here. This little uh, part that pokes out. I've been wanting to fill this in, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring this road now down to here, and we're going to bring this road down to... I don't want that too close. Let's go ahead and go like that, and then curve it to like... Let's try to get that even line-wise to that. I'm not sure how I want to connect this all in the end. That's my one little concern about this. If I were to bring that down, that doesn't line up very even. I don't wonder... I'm trying to fill this area out. This is kind of a tricky area. I wonder if I could curve these at the end. So maybe if we were to go like this, and what if we were to do a curved road? I don't know if it can even do this angle. It can, it just looks silly. What if I were to do a 90 degree? Uh, maybe something... Actually, I wonder if I can do... I don't know, this little tool being really finicky with me right now. I would like to just curve this around if at all possible. So something like that into... Ah, that's even kind of messy to me. That and that would be a very odd looking angle. So if I were to connect it like that... Yeah, it looks... Does it look that odd? It does look a bit odd. I guess maybe it's not that bad. And what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this street out here. And we're going to add just some cross streets and try to maximize some of the space uh, usage here. So we're going to add a straight street that's going to connect into here. Uh, let's go and do one that's going to connect over like this. I thought about running a street down the middle of this, but I don't believe that's going to work in the way I want it to. Uh, so we're going to make a bunch of cross streets and try to fill out this area. Uh, we'll eventually stop here because I think I'm going to put a park at the end of this. I need to put this at a decent angle. That's not even wanting to connect very good, is it? Uh, let's see. What if we were to go here? And it's raining once again. You know, I should probably turn the rain off. I don't want to, but part of me does. The whole fact that it keeps raining. We're going to connect that there. Now, let's try to fill this in. Let's go ahead. Let's just grab our big dragging tool here and just go boop. And... Fill that in, that in. I don't let them build right by the beach. That's the only place I don't want them building. So let's go there, fill that in this way. And we're going to stick a big park. I really wish I had like a golf course or something. That feels like it'd be kind of cool down here to have some sort of a little golf course. So there we go. We're going to fill that in like that. And let's go and run our waters down. That way we can actually fill this area. There we go. Come on. Uh, I guess you're going to have to come out. Yeah, you know, we'll do it like this. I don't want to break it out any further. There we go. So we're going to let that neighborhood fill. That should actually do us uh, pretty good for our residential demands for a while now. And that'll look good once it fills in, I think. So, we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back up to the industrial sector here. Alright, so I've got two options here. I do want to build a college. That is option one. Option two is I do want to build a cargo rail station. And since we're already over here in the industrial sector, uh, that's the big demand right now. Uh, I know commercial zoning's in there too. I want to get this done real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. And the way I like to do these, I'm going to do a one-way street. And this is going to be a dedicated little street for the cargo station. Where are my train? My rails are going to go up the side here and up over here. So i got to figure out where I want to do this exactly. I want to do it. I could probably run it right along here. Actually, we probably need to run it over here. So let's go here. This is all going to be a one-way, a big one-way street because there's going to be a lot of traffic getting stuck here in this section. So let's do that. Let's run water out. There we go. And let's go ahead and go into here. Let's get our rail station. We need the cargo train terminal. 
Let's go ahead and stick you right about here. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and run electricity over to it real quick. There we go. Industrial is very, very happy about that, as you can imagine. Uh, they're going to now be able to ship their goods out. So let's go ahead and connect the train tracks here. This is the tricky part. Uh, we need to do this. This might have to change eventually and go underground. We're going to keep it above ground since we haven't reached it yet. Uh, we're going to do a big curve here. And we're going to do a curve here. So we're going to do that. That actually looks a little bit too close. Let's, go and ex let's expand this back out. Actually, maybe I don't want to do like a... <laughs> Like a 90 degree turn, that's gonna look a little strange, but it, uh, we're gonna come close to that. Actually, I'd, let's go ahead and go, oh, what the heck was that? There we go. Uh, this is tricky how I wanna do this. I wanna keep it as close as possible to the water opposed to town. So something like, something like that. That looks a lot better, there we go. So let's go ahead and run this straight. And we are going to run this. I want, I'm going to run underground here. So we're going to go here. And let's go page down. Let's go under here. Can we do a turn underground? Yes, we can. Good. And then we're going to go above ground right here. This is going to cost us quite a bit of money, actually. So we'll spit out above ground... Uh, right around. Why are you wanting to turn around like that? Uh, what the heck is wrong with the train tool right now? This is a straight road. Or straight train track. Alright. Uh, give it a second here. There we go. Hmm, that is still not ideal where I wanted that to end up. I really... That's gonna be a really wonky turn. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hmm. I can go back in and delete some of that, or I can just deal with it. I think we might just deal with it for the time being. Because I have a feeling this uh, train track's going to evolve from where it's going to start now. I think I'll, I'm going to probably go more underground with it. I didn't mean to do that little last section there. I don't, li yeah, I don't like the way this thing spit out. I just needed so much, basically, room to make this thing be able to go underground. And I don't... Yeah, I don't necessarily... I'm not a big fan of this little turn here. So we got that side connected. This is the other side. This side's going to be easy to connect. It's just really going to be a turn. And it's going to go straight. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and set that up there. And we're going to do a big turn. Let's do just a big old turn like this. And then we'll do a straight piece all the way into the station. Too short for a straight piece. I have never seen... I don't know why that's even pop... Why is that even a thing right now? Something's uh something's kind of weird. I don't remember the train tool being this uh kind of funny to use. Let's go there. There. Huh. I understand why I didn't let me do that the first time. But anyways, we've got our tra train station connected. Uh, goes underground here. Goes under the highway. Pops up. I guess I could have made a wider turn to make the pop-up uh, appear faster or appear maybe earlier, maybe before these trees. But maybe that's going to be okay for now. We'll take that. So anyways, they're going to start working there. That's uh, really, that's done us actually a lot here for our industrial sector. Uh, they still have some demand. Uh, I guess we could give them a little bit more as far as sections here. Uh, of course, the wind farm's going to be kind of right in the way here. Let's go back to uh, normal roads. Let's go out this way. Let's go ahead and move this. Uh, this wind farm's going to look kind of neat once we get it all in place. And let's go and stick this one over. It's going to get better anywhere. I guess over here it'll be fine. Uh, but once we get that wind farm in place, I think it's going to look good uh, wherever we s decide to stick it. Uh, let's see. Don't want to run this all the way out to the end here. I think we're just going to run a little section like this. And we'll just run it over here. There we go. And then we'll eventually connect in some more streets on the other side. So that's uh, going to be good. We'll give the industrial sector just a little bit more as far as uh, zoning here. I don't want to give them too much more here. I'm going to kind of limit them because they'll start... Uh, demanding jobs. Uh, we might need to worry about some transportation for them soon. I think I have one bus line running in here, uh, but I think we're going to need some more eventually to get these workers in and out of this area. But anyways, there is our little cargo terminal. You can see they're already pulling in, dropping off cargo, and shipping it off. That is awesome. 
Okay, so I think it's about college time, and I think this is going to really start to boom our downtown district. We have a lot of demand over there, but I don't want to fill out offices quite yet because of the lack of the college. Uh, by the way, this is that area that we just built earlier. This is actually filling out quite nice. The road is still questionable and a little bit wonky, but I think I can get around with it. If I, I think I'm going to place a park somewhere in here. Uh, but where are we going to put the college? Uh, we got this little school center here. We've got a little playground. I've got our high school going over here, our elementary school. I think we're going to stick the college right here. Now, I do eventually want to get a mod for like one of the custom colleges where it's several different buildings that you can kind of put together and make work together uh, for like a huge campus. But I think for the time being right now, uh, we're going to stick with the standard size college. Actually, what is that? Institute of Creative Arts. I like the way that looks, but I think we need to go with the standard college. What is this? Uh, 4,500 students. Yeah, 800. Yeah, we're definitely going with the bigger college here. And Actually, this college is not going to fit. Uh, we're going to have to move something. Let's uh, move the elementary school. We're going to add some paths in here uh, to make this look a little bit better. Let's go ahead and let's move that. And move it right here. Why is everybody sad and happy at the same time? We just moved it half a block. Uh, let's do that. And let's stick the college right here. There we go. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so if we were to add some trees and some paths through here, I actually think this would turn out fairly nice. Uh, you can hear all the binging going on. Everybody's really happy about the college. Uh, let's go ahead and add maybe a back uh, bike path in between buildings here. Kind of connect those. Uh, let's go... Let's go with one we're gonna weave in and out here. Can it connect into here? There we go. Send one straight out. I know it looks kind of pointless sometimes doing all these bike paths, uh, but once you do these uh, with some trees, uh, it actually looks, to me, it looks actually quite nice. So doing something like, we'll put some trees through here. Uh, let's just kind of spread them out throughout this little college area and school. We'll call this a little education square here. So if we spread these out like so, so it looks nice. You got people going through. It looks like a nice, just calm little area. It would be nice. I need to go get the mod where I can put the like the benches down and stuff like that. I don't quite have that activated. But anyways, that's going to be good because that's going to eventually help out the downtown district, which we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of work on it real quick, too. I'm a little low on funds here. That college is quite expensive, but I got a plan here. What we're going to do, there's about a midpoint... We're going to need to make this even. Let's go from here. Make sure this is a straight tool. Let's go up two blocks, or about two big squares there. And then where's our next connection circle? Is it right here? Yeah, that makes this even. And we're just starting something out. There's going to be a, a park in here. I know the railroad tracks is right there. I'm going to push those out even further. Uh, we're not going to get to that, to that today, but... I just want to make a square here, because we're going to make a, a bit of a park. I will kind of do the way we do a lot of our stuff. We'll do a lot of it kind of, uh, we'll use the pre-built parks, and then we'll use some of the paths and stuff in there. But I wanted to get this squared off, and then we'll have, like, surrounding offices around it. So we'll do that. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we were doing a four-lane road here. Yeah, we're just doing a standard four-lane road here on the outside. Uh, section so we'll do up to here over over till uh, it's kind of hard to see where that connects There's trees are in the way there we go so let's run that like that and then we're gonna swap where the cross streets are I think so maybe if we do the cross streets like this now that might work that kind of limits the space does it not oh, maybe that isn't a good idea to do it like that Maybe we'll just do streets all the way across. I don't know. Let's try this out real quick. I don't know if this is going to limit the space for the buildings, uh, but we'll see here. Let's go ahead and go high density commercial on the outside portions. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop some offices in and see what happens here. So let's go office here, office here. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and extend our water out. There, there, and there. And we'll see what happens here. I don't... Well, actually, you know, there is some offices starting to pop up. That actually looks pretty nice. If we can get, like, a city hall or something maybe in this area, I think that would fit perfectly. 
All right, so as you can see here, this is actually filling out quite nicely. Uh, we need to add more residential, and I'm really, like, I am debating a lot here. I want to add some high density somewheres, but I don't have the spot that I want to add it in yet. And I don't really want to separate. Why is Cozy Heights not in Wood Square? Hold on. Let's go ahead and correct this real quick. That doesn't even look right at all. There we go. So... You should be in this one district here. We're going to have the same policies for this whole neighborhood. So we've got that. I guess we could add on to more of this neighborhood and just do another street. Uh, even though I would like for the high density. Uh, but it's just not its not quite there yet to me. And I don't want to rush that. So let's just go ahead. We're going to run a street all the way down here. It's a 90 degree. Looks good. Can I just do one cross street all the way down this too? Nice, that actually works out. Uh, let's do that. Do we want to continue? We're going to still split it right here because it seems like that's one continuous road. Uh, let's go and check our water status here. Our pipes are starting to reach it. Now, another thing I got to look at, our electricity is on edge right now still. I've got the budget maxed. Uh, I think we're going to continue just to slowly add on to the wind farm, which, by the way, we have enough money to do right now. Uh, we're building it further back this way because the wind is actually quite a bit higher up here. So let's go ahead and add those there. So that should bump up uh, enough for the uh, new neighborhoods here. So we've got that. They've got water. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is going to be like a floodgate here. Uh, this is probably going to affect our education, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Instantly, they were ready to pop into that. <laughs> Alright, so that's nice. I still like this, even though it looks a little odd, I like this separation here. It would be nice to actually have like a natural river running in between the uh, residential and the uh, the commercial district over here. Uh, let's check something real quick. I'm seeing a lot of traffic on this street. Uh, we might be upgrading this road here, because it does eventually turn into a four lane down here. Uh, but we might need to actually look at doing that a little bit sooner. But that's looking good there. I like this. I actually really like the way this is coming out. Uh, we're going to turn this. I'm going to need to back this up. We'll probably wait to do that because I don't think we're really going to add too much to downtown districts yet. Uh, let's look at some of our specialized buildings. Do we have anything we can add yet to these? All right. So we're going to put a unique building here. And I think the reason I'm doing this is because it fits perfectly in this square. I think we're going to put a courthouse in here. And we're going to go ahead to try to increase happiness around here. We're going to make this into one big park like I've been talking about. Uh, so let's do that. I need parks that fit right dead in the center here. Uh, that one almost does it. Come on, I need a... Ooh, that one... Oh, that's off by one block. That stinks. Uh, let's see. That one almost fits. We might be tr kind of tricking this out again and uh, doing some kind of cross parks. We'll do several different parks and add some uh, to the outsides here. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can add in this section here? Because we could put a plaza. Does that fit? Why does everything have to be this size in city skylines? Dang it. Alright. Well, what we're going to do here, we're going to do two separate plazas. We'll do two plazas there, which that actually doesn't look bad. And then we're going to add some, uh, oh, that's really loud. <laughs> it's, a, it's a busy area, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to add some paths here. And let's run these paths right up the side here. So it's going to be like a little extra bike path. Actually, I don't like the way that looks. Uh, let's delete that. That didn't blend in well with the sidewalk. Uh, let's make... Actually, let's do a normal path. We're going to run from here all the way in front of the courthouse. And let's go all the way back. Like that. So that makes that like that. I kind of want to clear out the trees just right in the center here and keep that clean. And then we're going to line the sidewalk up with trees. I think that would actually look kind of nice. So, hmm. Don't want to add anything else. I think that's going to be good for this section here. Uh, do we have any, like, taller trees? Uh, those, no, redwood trees wouldn't really work here. Kind of would want, like, a tall, sh I would say, I almost said tall, short tree. But, like, a tree, actually, this little small bush might work. Oh, that's going to be kind of tedious. <laughs> oh, those are all different sizes, too. Yeah, we're going to have to go with a standard tree. So let's just line up trees all up and down the outer 
ring here while keeping the center ring clean. There we go. I like this. Uh, this looks nice, actually. Uh, we're going to need to rework some of our bus lines here really soon. Uh, we have a lack of employees over here. We have a big demand for uh, residential, I mean, uh, commercial, but we have a lack of employees at the moment. Hmm. Uh, that's why we're not going to add any more, probably, uh, for a little bit. But, but anyways, I think that about does it for the uh, the downtown district and what we're going to do to it for this episode. I'm just glad to really get this started. All right, so that's going to about do it for this episode here today, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. We actually got a lot done here. Everything from, like, new sections of neighborhood. Uh, we've got the college area installed here. We've started on our downtown district, which I think is actually turning out really nice uh, so far. Uh, we are going to back up this uh, rail station or this uh, train tracks, which I'll probably do that uh, in between episodes here. As you can see, it runs up and we'll eventually have a tram over here or a monorail over here. And then also we built our little cargo yard, added on to the industrial district, and expanded our wind farm here. So I believe we have a lot accomplished here today. If you guys have any suggestions for the city, comment below. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, thanks for all the love and support on the uh, return of the City Skyline series. But yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time on City Skylines. Thank you.